Hi everybody, this is CR number 13, helper video number 5. It says look at the equation 3 plus blank equals 12 plus 4x. Which of these creates an equation with no solution? Remember, no solution will mean that I will get an untrue statement from the left side to the right side. An answer such, uh, such as this, like 3 equals 2. That's an untrue statement, so that would be no solution. So I want to make sure that whatever I have on this side will never match up to whatever I have this, on this side. Well, how can I do that? Well, let's take a look. If I replace this blank with a 1, which is what it says right here, 3 plus 1 is 4, correct? Okay. So I would have 4 on that side. And that equals 12 plus 4x. Now notice, I can still get the x's by themselves by subtracting 12 on both sides. If I subtract 12 on both sides, I get a negative 8 equals 4x. I divide both sides by 4, and I get x equals negative 2. Well, guess that. Guess what? That is one solution. And I'm not looking for one solution, so that doesn't work. So I'm going to go ahead and erase that, and I'm going to go ahead and try the 5 in place now at that blank space. If I put the 5 in here, 5 plus 3 is 8 equals 12 plus 4x. Guess what? The same exact thing is going to happen again because now I have a value that's going to give me one solution. So I'm going to go ahead and erase that. I can tell that that's happening because it's the same exact process that I just used. So now I want to go ahead and try the next one because that one looks kind of different. That one's an x. So if I go ahead and substitute an x in, I need to go ahead and make sure all of my variables are on one side. So if I subtract 4x on both sides, I get 3 minus 3x equals 12. I can go ahead and subtract 3 on both sides and get negative 3x equals 9. Divide both sides by negative 3 and x equals negative 3. Well, guess what? That is one solution. Once again, not my answer. And when you do your problem, this is what you're going to do. You're going to substitute values in until you find out the answer of the question that they're trying to find. All right? And so now we're looking at the last one. We know it's the answer, right? We really do because it's only one left. But I'm still going to try it because I want to prove to you why that is no solution. All right. So if I go ahead and I substitute 4x in, and if I subtract 4x from both sides, these 4x's cancel out on this side, these 4x's cancel out on this side, I'm left with 3 equals 12, and never in my lifetime has 3 ever equaled 12, so that would be no solution. And that is why D, 4x, would be your answer.